Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencast Online tip video. This week I'm covering an app for both macOS and iOS, and that's Paste. As you might imagine, Paste is an application that allows you to manage your clipboard and gives you multiple ways to paste across all your devices. There are two different ways to get access to Paste. You can get it through the Mac App Store. If you scroll down here, you'll see that although it's free to download, there are some in-app purchases. So it's a subscription based model. But if you already have setup, you can go ahead and install Paste directly from your setup account. Uh, bearing in mind as well that setup also includes the iOS app as well. But let me pop this down. I've already got Paste installed and configured. Now, two different ways to invoke Paste. You can go up into the menu bar and tap on the P. This brings up the main user interface, which is a series of different pin boards, what they term pin boards. And we'll see how this is configured later on. Let me just click away. Or you can use the built-in keyboard shortcut or set a customizable keyboard shortcut. But I'm going to use the standard, which is Shift, Command, and V. That pops up the UI as well. So now with Text Edit and Safari loaded on my Mac, let's have a look at the rudimentaries of Paste. So what I can do over here, if I just go into this Safari web page and copy this piece of text, just do Command C to copy, and I want to paste it across here over in text edit. Now, of course, I could just use Command V to paste it in, but if I want to select it from my clipboard history, I just press Shift Command V, and the paste UI appears at the bottom of the screen. This is the clipboard history pin board, and as you can see, the very first option is the text that we copied 12 seconds ago. So to pop this into text edit, just hit return, and that will paste it in for me. Now you can do some clever things as well. You'll notice there were two snippets in there. If I do Shift Command V again, if I want to paste the second one along, I could either use my arrow keys to go and select that one, or I can hold down the Command key and press two, and that will actually select the second one on the clipboard history. Now you're not restricted just to text. You can capture uh, graphics and images as well. If I go across to here, uh, let's do a screenshot of this. So Command Shift Five. Let me just reposition that over here, say. Uh, we'll hit return. I've got this configured to capture to my clipboard. But if I just go ahead and say capture, and then Shift Command V, you'll see now that I've got an image in my clipboard history as well. Now, let's just have a look at this concept of pin boards. If I wanted to, uh, I could go to this one here, which is a series of useful links that they've already created for me. So I can go uh, and look at these particular web links or follow them on Twitter, or I can create my own pin board over here. Let's call this, uh, let's control the right click, we'll say rename, call the screenshots. I can change the color if I want as well. Let's say I wanted that to be purple. I go back to my clipboard history and then drag this image across to screenshots, and drop it in there. I've now got two copies. I've got a copy here and a copy here. I can delete it out of this one if I want. I can delete just by hitting backspace or I can control or right click. And then from here, I can just say delete. But I should, yeah, I've still got that version there. I can rename this from here as well. So control or right click and just select rename. It's also possible to use keyboard shortcuts to navigate between your various pin boards. So if I use command and left square bracket, that takes me across to the left or command and right square bracket will take me back the other way. Now you'll notice there's also an option for search. So if I click on search, search paste. Now the good thing is that this will search across all your pin boards. So you don't have to restrict your search or just on certain ones. Uh, you can be confident that when you do search, you will find all the results across all the various pin boards. Now let's say I now want to paste this one into text edit. I can control or right click. And here we go. Text edit is recognized as an open application. Just select that and that will paste it in for me. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV 
using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.